Okay, so there's many things I wish I knew before I started my press washing business as a teenager. And most of these things actually led me to make over $1,000 my first month of press washing. And make sure you watch this whole video because I'm going to be putting a bonus somewhere in the video that'll save you so much time. Now, just to start off, we're going to start off with the first thing I wish I knew before I started my press washing business, which is starting with one service and mastering it. And what I mean by this is starting with one service and, you know, for example, the service could be, you know, cleaning concrete or just something that has to do with starting out with some basic pressure washing equipment. And, you know, some basic pressure washing equipment would obviously be your pressure washer and, you know, probably your service cleaner. And you could do so many jobs with this, guys. Probably like 60% of the things you're going to do pressure washing requires a service cleaner. So if you just get your service cleaner and your pressure washer, you'll be set because, you know, for example, if you're just doing some concrete, any type of concrete or, you know, anything like that, then you're just going to need your service cleaner. You're going to need your pressure washing wand, you know, just to clean the sides of it. But it's mainly just your service cleaner. So I would definitely recommend, you know, starting out with a service cleaner and a pressure washer. And inside of my program, I'll show you exactly literally how to do that. And my program is not going to be that expensive at all. If you want to help grow your, you know, pressure washing skills and experience and grow fast, I would definitely recommend joining that. I'm not trying to, you know, promote anything to you. I'm just letting you know. And we also have a free program. So I just wanted to let you know, um, because you definitely, definitely, definitely do want to start with one service because you don't want to be buying all this other stuff and get kind of in debt when you're starting your business because you want to get as much money as possible to start upgrading because that's kind of what we're all trying to do here. Um, and if you spend all your money at the start and you don't know what's going to work, you just, you kind of need to, you know, start to put your money in places that you think and know it'll do good. So I just wanted to let you guys know of that because it is something that I wish I knew when I was starting out because when I was starting out, I kind of bought a lot of things. At first I bought, you know, a pressure washer. Well, I got a pressure washer from my grandpa and then I got, you know, a service cleaner from him. And then, you know, I started to do these jobs and I kind of, I progressed pretty well, but um, I think I could have took my time a little bit more because I bought some chemicals after and I started learning as much as I can, which is a good thing, but you just want to master the things that, you know, you know you're good at. So the second thing I wish I knew before I started my pressure washing business is starting with the right equipment. And this kind of links to the first one. You definitely want to start with the right equipment because you don't want to go on Facebook marketplace and try to, you know, find some crap that'll break down in the first hour of pressure washing. You need to actually, I'd probably suggest buying a pressure washer that isn't used, but you know, if you can't, if that option isn't available to you, I would definitely recommend starting out with whatever you can, but I would definitely recommend getting a pressure washer that's brand new, a service cleaner, because it'll last a longer, longer time, you know, when you're pressure washing. And, you know, if you make a ton of money from it, you could just upgrade your equipment as well. So I would definitely recommend starting with some stuff that is not too pricey at start because you don't want to get into debt, obviously, but you want to start um, building your pressure washing brand and doing the best you can. And, you know, a lot of things that I would recommend is, you know, for example, trying to educate yourself the most you can by, you know, joining some Facebook groups and just connecting with a lot of different business owners and pressure washers because you need a lot of skills when you're talking to clients and you're trying to upsell people on different things. And, you know, once you think of these other things you can upsell people on, you, you try to do all this, you need a skill that actually requires to sell it to them. And if you don't have that, it'll be very, very, very hard to start to get more clients and start to upsell them on more things. So now we get into the third thing I wish I knew before I started my pressure washing business. And this is educating yourself. This obviously links into the last you know, two that we just talked about, but educating yourself really, really, really does play a huge role on your pressure washing business because the more you educate yourself, the faster you can just get jobs done, honestly. And we're all trying to make money here, so the best thing that I would recommend doing is definitely just trying to make your time useful, learn some things that'll you know make your time go by fast and yeah but make sure you're doing a good job and not a crap job because you want to go fast you do want to do the great job so you can get some reoccurring clients you know next year or the year after you start your press washing business you want some reoccurring clients because if you get one client and you can keep them for a long time that really means a lot and you can make a lot of money um that's not just about the money it's about satisfying the customer and trying to do the best things possible you know to improve their experience so um by educating yourself this does mean you know buying some programs if you see them you know joining some facebook groups with press washing owners and like or just business owners and trying to upgrade your skills a lot and you know i actually have a free program that i was just talking about um that is in the link in the description or you know on my youtube bio um that you know you can literally just talk to any business owner we're all pretty much business owners um and then you can join my actual pressure washing program that is releasing pretty soon um in the description in my bio uh which you know it'll just be strictly pressure washers it'll be myself i'll be mentoring you basically uh we have weekly q and a's all this good stuff that is great for you know starting pressure washers and now i want to get into the fourth thing that i wish i knew before starting my pressure washing business which is price 
for your experience. And this is one thing that I actually did very, very, very correctly when I was first starting out my business because my parents helped me with my business and my dad was like, you know, you can't be charging this much and you can't be charging this much if you don't have that much experience. And it's not even just about having the experience because when you don't have the experience, you don't know what you're gonna do and you don't want this client to expect so much and you provide so little. And the next thing is that, you know, if you're trying to get a client and they say, okay, you do a quote, in-person quote and they say, for example, if, if they're like, how much will this driveway be? And you say, for example, $400 your first job and it's a small driveway. And if they say, no, you just lost your first client. And if you say, you know, something like 75, I know it's very cheap and very low for a pesh washing job. But if they say yes, it's more likely that they'll say yes. And you already get a testimony and a review just from starting out. So you definitely want to price a little bit lower on based on your experience and your skills just starting out. And that is something I actually kind of did for a long time. You know, I, I got some experience and I kept building um, and I actually, you know, kept scaling, but I didn't scale too far because, you know, one thing that's great with, you know, kind of some press watching businesses that don't have a lot of employees to pay is the only reason they have their prices so high is because they have to employ pay employees. And if you don't have anybody to pay, then you can, you know, obviously put your prices a lot, you know, you can make them a lot cheaper and put them down a lot. But, you know, another thing I would recommend telling your, you know, clients and everything is that you know your business is a lot different because it is a lot cheaper and you don't want to use the word cheaper with you know your clients and everything like that because when people hear cheaper cheaper they kind of feel that it's a little bit worse so you just want to say you know it provides very 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 great value with a low price and you know once you do that you can start putting reviews on your page start marketing to more people and i kind of just wanted to let you guys know that you need to a price for your experience or else you're going to get people saying no and you don't want that you want as much most you want as much customers as possible and most clients as possible because they could be recurring and you know try to contact you next year for another job now the fifth thing i knew before i started my pressure washing business is keep clients upsell more services now what i mean by this is you know you want to keep your clients. Obviously, I was just talking about reoccurring clients. And when you get these reoccurring clients, they're kind of, they're going to come back and say, "Oh, you know, can you do the same thing as last year?" A lot of them will say that, or a lot of them will say another service. And you say, "Sure," but you look around their property and say, "Oh, well, you know, uh, I think your porch needs a little bit of cleaning." And they say, "Oh, really? What, what what could you do for that?" Provide them a very 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 low offer for that, or a very low price. And you know, you'll probably get the job as well. I mean, what's that going to take you? The porch going to take you what thirty minutes? and you make 50 bucks from that, that is great. You know, <laughs> if, if someone else was charging, say, for example, $200 for that, and they say, no, you just missed out on that, man. Like, <laughs> you wanna make $200 in, you know, 30 minutes, which you definitely could do when you scale your business, but, you know, you always just wanna price kind of, you know, very lowly um, when you're first starting out and, you, you know, when you upsell more services. And when you upsell more services, I would definitely recommend, you know, saying the benefits to having this service, you know, the benefits of, trying to upsell what you're selling for example if you're trying to upsell you know your porch say this could crack your concrete you know during the winter if a lot of water gets here gets in here and you know it's all it has all this dirt in it it could expand and everything you just want to say as much as you can to um you know sell them on the service that you're providing and you know this is really it that is all i wanted to go over with you guys but i did tell you i would have a bonus so the bonus is the community that i am building and this is free so do not skip this this is very important this is a free community to literally press washers, business owners, and everybody that you can literally go and join live events for. You could do, we, we have weekly Q and A's. You could ask any questions. You could literally connect with other business owners and make friends in this discord university. And I do have a paid version, which is, uh, I think it's about $50. Um, you just one time, which is very cheap. You know, and that's, that's less than a press washing job. You know, your first press washing job, you make $50. Don't spend it on here. If you're scaling and you just make, probably $50 an hour, then you can spend it on something like this because it'll very, very, very much, you know, help you with your equipment, help you with, you know, scaling your business and talking to actual other pressure washers who are doing the same exact thing as you. And I haven't really seen a lot of other, you know, business YouTubers that are pressure washing turn their pressure washing business into an agency during the winter. And that's literally what I teach you exactly how to do. It is such a great thing, man. If you start getting all these clients and you start scheduling from next year during the winter, your schedule will just literally be booked and you know i obviously want that for you you want that for yourself so i really hope this video did help a lot of you guys um you know whether you decide or not if you're gonna start your pressure washing business how you're gonna run it you know if you can improve your pressure washing business and i think a lot of you guys 
just watching this video probably don't even have a press watching business and just want to know some things you know before you start if you want to start and i would definitely recommend starting depending on your area um if it's a very cold place up north or down south if it's a very warm place typically if you're down south people go all year because you know the weather is pretty good i don't know about right now but up north um you know the weather is a lot colder and you can't do all year so i would definitely recommend um you know depending on where you live just get the right equipment make sure you know how to winterize your pressure washer which is I, I literally show you in the program exactly how to winterize your pressure washer during the winter because that's something you need to do if you don't want to break your pressure washer during the winter because it will freeze and it will crack and all this stuff so just want to let you guys know and thank you so much for watching these videos we're almost at a thousand subscribers which is crazy and uh yeah thank you for watching